Hello and what's up Madlang people? Uh, this is a follow-up video uh, regarding my Harley Benton HBO 850 Electro Classical Guitar um, Round Back and it's a classic blue um, So, uh, we'll be talking about pros and cons I've been using this, in fact I've used this with my jam with Becca Check out her channel because we will be using this guitar uh, on most of our um, covers. Uh, I'll put the link on the description below. Uh, this video is like what are the things you need to know before you buy this guitar. So let's start with the cons or the downside. Um, this is always mentioned if you buy a cheap guitar to change the strings. So yeah, I didn't change the strings at first and I left it and we've jammed, uh, me and Becca jammed and I really uh, noticed the sound of the strings uh, after we recorded a video and when I did the unboxing, it's because it's a quick uh, review demo and I plug it in straight to the Focusrite I trap pocket and obviously the sound is different when it's plugged in uh, when we did the jam it was also plugged in but through the amp and the phone was capturing the sound of this guitar in combination with the amp anyway um i can hear that the sound is totally not great so i changed the strings but this is not a brand new string this is my the Adario Pro Art. I saved it before when I changed my Valencia guitar. And you might see that there is a bit of rust there. Um, yeah, there it is. It's a sign that it's an old string. But it changed the tone of the guitar, the feel of the guitar. It's totally different now with these strings on. So yeah, downside is to change the string. The other bit was, so normally I bring our lyrics and I put it inside the gig bag because it won't fit in the um, storage area. And look what happened. I got loads of scratches now. Because I put it like this. And probably it's rubbing while I was walking. So, another downside is the paint or what do you call this one, laminate, I don't know, I'm not expert on this matter, that it got scratched immediately. Um, with my Fender, uh, the DG60CE, I always do that as well, uh, putting it on top, but it never scratched the, the paint or the laminate on top of the guitar. So yeah, because this is quite a cheap guitar, probably they did a cheap um, paint or laminate. Another thing is this one, the headstock, because of that design, which is very nice, the clip-on tuner wouldn't fit properly. It's like it's there. I mean, it still holds it, but it's not the same as if it's just flat here. Good thing, this uh, flanger by Licato flanger tuner, got a mic. So, it's got the option to uh, use it as clip-on, but it's a lot better when I tune this guitar using the mic in here. And just put it in uh put it on the front and it tuned a lot better than with this one here the clip on um another thing is as i said that's why we ended up or resorted with the tuner because it doesn't have a tuner only the three band eq volume control and a check button for the battery it would have been nice if there's a built-in tuner so yeah those are the cons it's not a major thing 
uh, now for the pros or the things I like with this guitar obviously I bought this because I really like it first thing is the cutaway here so I got access on top uh, top bit of the guitar that's the main thing second is the strap button because most of the electro classical or classical guitar doesn't have strap button so I'm an electric uh, guitar player so I like this feature and the strap button uh, the next bit that I really like about this guitar is the, the color although I scratch it I, as I've said I love the color of this mid, um, classic blue um, it's my first time to have the round back so that's also another thing I like um, to be honest the action of this one is quite decent although as I said on my first review it's uh, quite high here I sanded this one I, I removed it and sanded it a little bit I didn't uh, lower this um, for the action because I think the tone and the vibration of the string needs this one to be a bit higher so I just lowered it a little bit I don't want to have a buzz on the fretboard so that's why I didn't lower it that much um, what else yeah the, the neck is so smooth that one and then it's got binding on the sides so it's something that's really nice um, even this one like pearl color or that one this one as well this leaf or I don't know uh, it looks like a bird according to my son so that also stands out I really like it and I don't know about the pickup of this guitar if it's because I removed this one as I said when I changed the string the saddle and I couldn't see unlike with my fender I can see that there's a pickup underneath um, yeah so I'm not sure about this one about the pickup if you know guys about the pickup of this uh, HBO 50 by Harley Benton kindly put it on the comments because I would like to know as well um, so far so good um, so that's my pros and cons uh, it's really lightweight so you don't really get tired of this one and my Fender DG60 CE because it's a dreadnought it's quite thick so it's uncomfortable for me this one I might say because I'm new to the round back uh, some of the people that uh, I spoke with they hate it because it slides in their body when I first use it with the strap I also noticed that it's awkward it the guitar is tilting like that I was laughing because probably I said it's being pushed by my tummy uh, but now I I'm quite happy with it. I adjust the strap to my, uh, the height that I wanted, and I'm getting used to it. So I find it comfortable now. It's 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 getting there. Right. Let's do some sort of demo or sound demo with the new string. Technically, it's not a new string, but with a different string. This one is the old uh, the Adario Pro Art and um, unfortunately i couldn't do the comparison because i just removed the 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 original strings the stock strings so if you want to hear the difference you have to uh, view the previous video all right see you in a bit mm -hmm. 